Hi friends, it's Deanna here today and today we're working on the bib and teether uh, toy set uh, pattern. Super, super cute, super, super simple and just a great little um, craft to make and give away. Just, it's just such a good pattern. So let's get started. <laughs> So this pattern includes two patterns, two little patterns, a teether ring and then the uh, bib. We're gonna start with the bib and actually the bib, there's two different ways you can make it. Um, you can also, you can even make it with these, like a, like a waterproof fabric for the back in case uh, there's some extra drooling and so the bib, if the bib gets wet, it won't get the, the top wet, their shirt wet, um, or you can just make it with, um, this is some felt I had. It really is up to you what you what look you're going for or what you're going for with your bib. Now, like I said, there's two options of making it. I'm gonna show you the first option. For the first option, we're gonna grab our main fabric. We're gonna put it face down on our mat. Then we're gonna find our lining fabric and we're gonna put it right in the middle. And then we're gonna get our back fabric and we're gonna put it face up on top. So we're literally just creating like a sandwich of that um, liner fabric that goes inside. We wanna see the outside of the back fabric and the outside of the front fabric. And we're literally just going to sew all the way around the raw edges. This works best if you have a serger then this would be a really great option because again, it is super quick and easy. Uh, but also if you have a, if you don't have a surgery using a sewing machine, you could use a zigzag stitch to finish up those raw edges. What I do is I'm gonna go over to my sewing machine serger, I'm sorry, and I'm gonna start at this corner and I'm gonna go all the way around the whole thing and come back over to this corner. And then we'll tuck in that tail put on our snaps and we're done with this version. Because this vinyl is so slippery, I like to sew with it face up and I think it gives me a better grip. As I'm going around, I kind of help my fabric but I also lift up my foot every so often to make it turn so I can have a nicer turn right here on my surgery. As I'm coming here again, I'm just gonna finish it off. And I'll have this tail that I'll tuck in afterwards. For the second version of the bib, we're gonna go ahead and grab our main fabric and we're going to put it face up on our board and then we're gonna grab our back fabric this is the back fabric and we're gonna put it face down so the right side is gonna go let me see which one's my right side this is my right side the right side's gonna go right on top of the fabric so they're touching right sides together and then I'm going to put my liner right on top of that the liner doesn't really matter how you put it on there because it's um, you won't see it anyway. Um, as you can see, when I cut my pattern, I left a little extra piece. My fabric was kind of wrinkled and that's why. Um, but just make sure that you are even on all your edges. Uh, I'm gonna go over to my sewing machine with this version and I am going to sew it all the way around. But instead of starting at the bottom, I'm gonna start like right around here and I'm going to sew all the way around and come right back and have a gap right here where I can turn my fabric around. This one I'm going to do with my sewing machine, but you can also do it with your serger as well. It'll just leave a, a space to turn it around um, to then top stitch right after that. Now for teether, what we're going to do is we're gonna grab our fabric we're going to put one face up and then we're going to put another one right sides together right face down on top of it and we're going to go over there and sew it all the way around leaving a gap one to two inch gap where we're going to turn it around so let's go get to some sewing
All right, so this first bib, the one that we searched all the way around, we just got this tail right here, which we could use just a simple uh, tapestry needle or something like that to tuck that tail in, that serger tail. Um, also, what some people do is they just like tuck it in, cut it, and then they like burn this little edge a little bit so that it frays out and it doesn't come undone. Um, or sometimes I will sew a zigzag stitch right over it. Either way is fine. So we're basically done with this bib. All we got to do now is put either our snaps or a hoop and loop here in the back, whatever you want to do for that. And we'll do that at the end. How cute and simple. And then for our other version of the bib, what we're going to do is, well, first of all, let's trim all these edges. I had extra because when I cut the liner on this one, uh, my liner was kind of folded, so it was a little bit over the top. That's all right. Um, we just cut it. Um, I, we wanna trim some of the seam allowance so that when we turn it, it's not super bulky. So that's what I'm doing. Don't cut the thread. And then um, if you want to right here on where it takes its turns, so you can you know, kind of trim a little bit of that too. So that way it's not super bulky on my turns right here. Bulk, bulk. And right here, like on this turn right here where, where it goes around the neck, just taking a little bit of trim. You can do a whole bunch. You can use uh, scissors or whatever. And then we're gonna go right here where this we left the gap and we're gonna turn this around. We wanna make sure we poke out all our corners. And you can use any kind of tool for that, a pencil, tweezers, your finger, poke them all out. And then we're gonna grab our iron and steam it. And right here where we have that seam allowance, we're gonna tuck those edges in of that seam allowance. And then we're gonna go all the way around on our sewing machine and top stitch all the way around the whole thing. I actually really love how um, this ends up looking with the top stitching. Make sure that your fabric went all the way in there. I don't know why mine folded out. Making sure that you close this little gap right there. So go all the way around top stitching. After we top stitch, we'll come back and we'll do our, our um, Velcro or whatever it is that you're using to close that gap. While we're here, we're gonna finish up our bib by adding our enclosure. We're gonna use some hook and loop. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna place one a half an inch away from the raw edge on the one side. So this one's gonna be, one is gonna be on the right side. So I'm going a half an inch away from my seam right there. And then the other one, because it's gonna close right on top, it's going to be a half an inch, but on this side, the wrong side. That way they overlap each other and you can close it. I'm using this kind that has the uh, stickiness because it makes it so much easier to sew on. Because now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go around it and sew around it to attach it. and do the same for the other one. Now for our teething ring, we're gonna cut those, clip those corners just like we did for our bib and those curved edges as well. If you wanna do that, make sure not to cut your thread when you're doing it. Then we're gonna go ahead and grab where we left that area and flip our a um, little teether around our bunny ears and again make sure you poke out your edges then we're gonna steam it tuck in that seam allowance right here where we left it open and top stitch all the way around the whole thing Alrighty, oh, you all. So we've got one bib finished. Let's trim all these little pieces of thread everywhere. And we are done. 
and honestly I think this is my favorite version the one with the top stitching and the um, hook and loop because I just feel like it's so easy and so cute there it is super super cute I love how this turned out so let's put that one aside the next version and the next version which is super super easy as well super quick and super cute we're just gonna add the snaps so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my snaps my back and front whoop, one of them went flying is it this anyway and we're going to do the same thing we did um, but we're gonna go a half an inch away from the from the edge first and we're gonna put one of our fronts in there and the backing of it and how you do this is you it usually comes with a tool and you just kind of put it in there and squish it I didn't do a very good job of measuring make sure you do a really good job of measuring so they're even where they're supposed to be okay then we're gonna grab our next one and we're gonna go an inch away from that one and put our other one right in the middle an inch away from the other one and put the backing on the shiny flat side goes in here and then the little pokey side goes where the rubber is and squish the harder you squish that the better it will snap once you're getting to snapping so now on the other side we come from the back and we go a half an inch away from the edge and put that back one on and put the other kind see how that's one kind the top and here's the other kind you gotta make sure the different kinds or they're not going to uh, snap closed and then whoops make sure you get it just right hopefully this is gonna work I hope I didn't mess it up and then then it will be able to snap closed see that so we want to go ahead and do the other one as well it's an inch away if you want to measure it just to be sure like put your snap where it's supposed to be and measure it right here there it is and I poke it through and put that back on super easy super quick super simple and now we are done with our snap bib tell me which one is your favorite version top stitched or snap I'm gonna add my tag I know some of you have asked me about tags in the past I don't know where I put it um, these come in a roll um, and I got them from uh, wonder label is where I got them from I will add it to it just zigzag stitch it on and honestly what I do is I'll just burn the back there we go super cute perfect gift for a friend um, that is having a baby I love them now let's finish up our bunny ears so we are done with our bunny ears now all we do is we got a teething ring and I got a wooden teething ring from Amazon um, you can get these different places um, and then we're gonna fold this in half we're gonna stick it right through open up our ears poke them right through that hole pull them and there it is you can get your you know like whatever kind of teething ring you want to use for it or make your own like with um, stitching or uh, whatever however you want to do it but this is really cool because if it gets dirty all you do is you just undo them wash them and put them back on and the babies love to chew on these I love having the tags on here because the babies love to chew on that if you wanted some silky trim or make them out of silky because babies love the silk I love it all right friends I hope you enjoyed this quick simple and super super cute sewing tutorial today go grab your pattern go get to sewing these are super perfect for a present let me know which version is your favorite below um, and I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you all next time <music>